Hi, I'm Timmy. I'm John. And I'm Emily. I'm Rodney. And welcome to this week's edition of the Lions Pride Watch. Today we'll be reviewing Iron Man, and the full trilogy will be under our harsh critique. Um, so basically what I thought of the whole trilogy is, it was actually an arc about Tony um, fixing his father's mistakes. Because in the first movie, he had to fix his father's mistakes with his old partner. In the second movie, he had to fix his father's mistakes for Ivan's grand, Ivan's father, who he like kicked out of the company when they made the arc reactor. The third one, he has to fight the Mandarin, which in a way, he turned into his father and he didn't like what he was seeing. Uh, so the entire time it was like a story arc about him fixing his past. So I give it about five out of five because that was just really good. I agree. Uh, it was really good and I like the fact that they explore a lot of what happened in the past. However, I think the, the beauty of what it actually was was the fact that Iron Man was built around Tony's flashiness. And so his cars were flashy, his lifestyle was flashy, and it, it transcended into the actual filming. And so cinematography was like beautiful. It was like explosions and just like an orgy of just <laughs> wonderful colors all over the screen. And that was really beautiful. And so I think I'd give the series a, about a four uh, because it was a really good series. The last one was a bit kind of offsetting with the Mandarin, but I'll stick with the four. Gucci with wonderful things. Okay, it's hard to top that. I think what I liked most about the Iron Man series was, I mean, not only was it what kicks off the Avengers initiative and, and everything that comes after, but the character of Tony was more interesting than Iron Man, the hero. Because it really was about Tony trying to fix not only his father's mistakes, but his own mistakes. And that's what made him a really interesting character. So, and plus, Robert Downey Jr., come on, he made the character alive. It was great. So I definitely, I'm giving him a 5 out of 5. I agree. I think the character really is the highlight of the ship. It's the highlight of the characters, I feel like. It really shows the importance of the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Iron Man, the first movie that set up this whole universe. I think the character really is so charismatic that everyone can like relate to it or connect to it or really feel that Tony Stark is someone you can relate to. Uh, but I feel like the third movie was not as good as you know, the first one, obviously, so that's why I think the series can probably be like a three or five. Fair. So cumulatively with two fives, a four, and a 3.5 out of five, we have about a 17. And so I think it's averaged out to be about like a 4.3. So this series will give us about a 4.3 pause out of 5. Uh, thank you again for tuning in and watching us on the Lions Pride Watch. Be sure to check out our other reviews leading up to Black Panther. Thank you once again for watching us. Stay tuned and see you later.